Today I'm going to cover clause 7.5.2 creating and updating. This creating and updating is all about documented information. Okay so the clause states and remembering this is in ISO 9001 I'm covering the clause states when creating and updating documented information the organization shall ensure appropriate a identification and description. Now there's some examples in the brackets there that says a title, date, author or reference number. So when we look at documentation and we're looking for documentation we want to understand what it is so that's that's that identification and description so possibly the name of the documented information the name of the file might be relevant to what it actually is it would be great if there was a date or a revision or version number on there as well because when we're looking for documented information we want to know is it, is it current or not so and then some do, um, documented information might also have who the author is so these are just examples okay it doesn't mean it's mandatory or all of them are mandatory this is what's mandatory identification and description so however you decide to do that whether it be in the title whether it be the date whether it be a version number or revision number or reference number that is up to you and the organization okay these are just some examples of what you might consider when you're determining what your identification and description um, is for your documented information okay then we have b format and media so documented information can be in many formats and medias <laughs> okay I'm probably studying the obvious there but when when we think of documented information we might traditionally just go back to thinking about written procedures okay but documented information can be in the form of images or graphics it can be in the form of um, different software versions it can be your marketing collateral it can be video so video training that you might produce so all of all of those types of documented information still need this identification and description but you need to determine what these different formats and medias are okay and getting back right back to basics it could be well this type of documented information is in paper format or it's always electronic you need to determine this format and media for your own system okay and then finally c says review and approval for suitability and adequacy so this final one review and approval for suitability and adequacy so part of your system or your process when you create and update your documented information is you need to have some sort of review and approval process so you might have an SME document uh, a new procedure or update an existing procedure but it should always go through a review process so someone's checking it to see one is it accurate two doesn't actually make sense and then this final approval as well so who's going to approve that final revision of your documented information for release whether that release is internal or external okay i hope that explains this little tiny part of clause 7.5 documented information all about creating and updating your documented information.